Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to jump into our Gmail and I'm going to show you how you can set up an out of office or holiday vacation responder. This way, you can make sure that everybody is aware that you are not in the office or you're not at school and that you will be responding to their emails at a later time. So let's jump into it. Now, the first thing we'll have to do is open up our Gmail account. Now here I have a blank Gmail account. It's one of the demo accounts and so everything is set to the default settings. We are going to jump into our settings and set up our out of office responder. Now in order to do that, we're going to have to find our settings. So in the top right corner, go ahead and click on that cogwheel. We're now going to select to see all settings. Now, once you've opened up all settings, there is a lot of information there, but all you have to know is that on that first page, what you'll have to do is scroll all the way down. So here we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and the option there is the out of office auto reply. Now the out of office auto reply works in a way that anyone sending you an email within these predefined times will automatically get an email response from that email account without you having to open it up. This is great for weekends when you're not working or for days that you are actually on a holiday. Now we're gonna set it up. So we're going to turn this on by simply toggling this box here. Now we have to select the different dates. Now here you can select the first day that this is active and then a last day. I'm going to select today. So there we go. We're going to select the 18th and then the last day will be in let's say a number of days from now, let's say that we are away for an entire week. So we're going to end it on Sunday. We can automatically set up a subject. That is the subject that Gmail will use to then send that response to the person emailing you. And we're going to say holiday responding later. There we go. You can format your entire email. This is almost as if you're using a template and you can just put all the information there that you would like your people to be aware of. So we can say, I am away for the week in case of urgent messages, please contact and then maybe leave a phone number or an email address that those people can contact. We can leave this as it is, but there are two additional tick boxes there that we can use. I can either say, okay, only send responses to people in my contacts. In other words, when other companies or other people send something to me, it's not going to respond if they are not in my contact list. I can also take that second box and this will only respond to people within my domain. This is a great one to use within your school domain so that you can automatically select your entire school domain, students, colleagues, and respond to them. However, if a parent emails you with an outside of the domain email account, it does not send an autoresponder. So let's say that you're working in subject teams and you're working together all day where well, you can have an autoresponder set up for your students and colleagues to make them aware of that study group. One thing that is important within our Gmail settings is that nothing is auto saved. So make sure that once everything is set up, you go to the bottom and you select that save changes. We're going to go ahead and save those changes. And now because the autoresponder is live, you'll see a banner at the top. So here you can see a holiday responding later. Now I can automatically tap that end now and it ends it, it's overriding the settings, or I can tap the second option and then I go to the settings and I can change those dates. So let's say that you are shortening your holiday or maybe extending it a little bit. Well, that's where you can do that right now. What does this look like when someone emails me? Well, seeing as I'm using a demo account, I can now email this account. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to compose and I'm going to type in that demo account. So go ahead and email them now. I'm going to title this testing. That is our subject. And I'm going to just send a blank email. This has now been sent to that teacher the out of office responder is turned on. So Gmail is going to receive that email and then automatically respond. So here you can now see that in my inbox, I have a holiday responding later. When I open this, I can see that that email is there. I am away for the week in case of urgent messages, please contact. So this works instantly. And it's a great way of making sure that everyone is aware that you are out of office, not in school, or that you're not working at the moment and you will get back to them at a later time. 
However, when you go back to that demo teacher account, this message is marked as unread. So you're not going to lose track of all the emails that you have to follow up on. This is a great way of staying organized and really mastering your Gmail. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. And for even more, click on the suggested video or one of the attached playlists. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.